in the module that shows the components of the essay. This is, remember, where we completed the proposal. Next, we're going to move down to the essay. Let's point out where the important information for the essay is contained. Let's look. We want to read all of these things, and of course, we've already locked the title. But what is bias? This is a persuasive essay. We want the reader to do something. We're going to provide them with opportunities to do something. Do you want them to give money, their time, their services, donate items? What do you want them to do? Because this is a persuasive essay with an intent involved. So let's look at the instructions. And here you can see this is the information in an initial video. These are the instructions. I want to look at those real quickly as we prepare the final essay. Of course, you'll want to watch this tutorial also. I'm going to click on this. These are the instructions for the essay. I want to come down here. This is what we need to have for the final essay. And I want to show you the outline that you're going to be using. If you'll follow this outline, you'll have a perfect essay. That is shown here in the step-by-step -step instructions. Remember, I need for you to underline your thesis statement so I can see your logic. This is important information for me. And for thesis statement, remember, we can always go back over to, let's go there together so you're not confused. I'm going to leave this PDF and I'm going to go back over to our modules page. Over here in the modules, I've come over to course textbook and I scroll down to the page, what is a thesis statement? And you'll find a very fun tutorial in here if you haven't already seen it. Now let's go back over to the instructions for this essay. And we're going to underline that thesis statement. And we're going to have transition sentence, which we've already discussed this semester. Then you're going to have the three solutions. Solution number one. Solution number two, solution number three, the interview that you conducted, then you have your position, which is which of these three, based on the information you have collected and the interview that you conducted, what is your position? Which of these solutions do you think works best? And then, of course, we show an image at the end of a person helping this endangered species. I'm going to show you putting together this essay the wrong way, and let's fix it together. I have some Ipsum Lorem text here just to show you that. But what's the first thing that you see that is wrong with this just as I scroll through? First things first, the font is incorrect, isn't it? It's in some other font. So what do I want to do? I want to make sure I go up here and I click select, click select All. And I'm going to change this over to Times New Roman, 12 font. And I'm going to make sure over here that it is double spaced. Now up here, this name, course, date, word count does not need to be double spaced. So I can make that single spaced. And hopefully that won't mess up the rest of the essay. No, it didn't. But now let's look at the rest of this essay. Let's say, remember, I'm just going to highlight this because I am famous for forgetting word count. I'm telling you, that's why when I do that final check, I have that there and then I remove the highlighting. Okay, this is a persuasive essay. I want the reader to give money to the American Bison Program. Does this title indicate that? No, it's a terrible title. Also, this image is so tiny and it's so dark and so gray. I'm not inspired, are you? So let's fix this. First, I'm going to consult this wonderful page, the link for which I sent you in the comments for your proposals. And I'm going to look at the pictures. What colors inspire me? I don't want black because I don't want to, to scare anybody. It's not fear. I don't want fear, loneliness. I don't want that. I don't want dull, lifeless abandonment. 
I don't want cold, isolation, emptiness, illusion, deception, detachment. Better stay away from that. Immaturity, deception, materialism, those are kind of the opposite things. But up here, I see the primary things. So I want to go up here and see where do I want them? Prosperity. I want them to give money to this program. So I'm going to look for something in this area. This is certainly a powerful color, but I don't know. I, I like this. I like the freedom. Remember all these words that are associated with my essay. I'm going to look for that. Now let's go look for images that are better than that title image that I showed. I found this image. You can see it's gray. Just look at that color chart. This one's too gray. This one's kind of kind of pretty, but I'm, I'm, it just shows them walking somewhere. This shows a bison walking toward me with its little calf. I kind of like that one. This one's kind of nice, but I can't see what's really going on here. I'm going to pick this one where they're literally walking towards me. It's like this little bite. I like this one too, though, but uh, either one of these, I think. But this one, the bison is making direct contact with me. So I'm going to copy this. And because we're just using this for this essay, I don't need to copyright it or try to get work cited on it. Now let's go back over to the essay. I'm going to take out the stupid, horrible picture. And I'm going to paste in the pretty picture. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that I can make sure that the reader can see this. Now, is there anything in here I don't need? You're right. You're right. I do need to crop the picture. So I'm going up here. I'm clicking crop. And I'm just going to take out that. Now, let's see how that looks. Aw, see? Now, we don't have any wasted space. We've got green action. We can go over here to... The picture format, I'm just playing around with Word here just to see if it's if it's sharp enough. Is that a little bit sharper? I kind of like that. Okay, now I've got my title image, and I'm inspired. The, see, he's looking right at the reader. Save my babies. Now, this title is just terrible, so I'm going to fix the title, and I'm going to use any font I want for that title. I've got that. Now I'm playing around with the picture, and I'm going to go up here and try. That's so nice and dark. I don't want the image to get lost, so I'm looking at that. What do you think? I think we can make the picture border just a little less wide than that. So let's just give it a nice little bit of a border. I like that, don't you? Okay, now if I do that with one picture, I have to do that with all of them. Now let's look down here and see the next thing that's, that's a problem. This graph is probably a good graph, but you're asking the reader to stop, look at this graph, try to figure out what in the world is going on in there. So what do I need to do? I need to add an arrow to this so that I can show the reader exactly where I want the reader to look. And then the sentences that follow will refer to this graph and make it crystal clear what I want the reader to see. Highlighted, I'm going to insert the shape. I'm going to find a little arrow. I'm going to make crystal clear where I want the reader to look. I can use a red arrow. There's an argument to be made, whatever your preference but just so the reader sees exactly where they need to look. I've showed them the graph and they know where they need to look. And now in the next sentences that follow, I'll make it crystal clear. Now at the bottom, I'm supposed to include an image of people helping this animal. Which one of these pictures is incorrect? That's right, this one, because this shows a person rescuing a little bison. We're not rescuing them. We are giving money to an organization that is helping raise more. So I'm going to center this. I'm going to make it big enough that the reader can see, but not though, though that it overwhelms the essay. And this is actually a person on a tractor 
helping the bison at the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. Where do I want people to send money? That's right, the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. So it only stands to reason that I would have this image at the end. And what do I need to do? That's right, if I framed one of them, I need to frame all of them. That was this. We went over here for the border. We went to the, uh, the weight and we went down to this nice little weight right there and lovely. Now we come down to the works cited. Oh my gosh, what a mess. What a mess. You see, this is what I mean by when I copy and paste this from EasyBib into the document, it can sometimes do this and sometimes it can do things that are worse. So let's go over here. Let's highlight this because we see that it's wrong. We go up here and let's click normal. That still doesn't work. So let's ch keep clicking around with things until we find the correct one. I'll let you know when I find it. Well, it's just a mess. So I'm going to take all of it out. I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to go back over to that document that created it in the first place. See this? This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what Easy Bib propagated when I clicked for it to export the citations. So let me try to copy this this time. Go back over to my document. And let's see if I paste it in there, if it's going to go in there right. And it did. So that's what happens when I see, oh my goodness, it just went wrong. I've already saved it in my Word document where I click that. And you have the easy bib tutorials. You've already done this. So now I'm going to check on this. It's now in Times New Roman 12 font. I'm going to make sure that all of my sources, if I used an idea from somebody, I'm going to make sure I have cited that quote. Whether it's an idea, a conversation, or an article, I need to make sure I have that cited. Also remember, everything can't be site contributors. We need an article that's written by a person because these site contributors, it's fine. I don't mind it every once in a while, but you know, Britannica is a credible source. And some of these other things, I don't know who's writing it. So I need at least one citation that's an author. Also remember that more images are required throughout the essay and we can go through the uh, PDF of step-by-step -step instructions to see where. You see this? Isn't this nice? Okay, that's how you do the final submission for your essay.